Hello there, lovely viewers, and welcome to another Daisy tutorial by myself, Chippy UK. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to say a massive thanks to everybody for all of the positive feedback that I've been getting on all of my videos. Um, the subscriber numbers have been going up, and it's fantastic. Lots of positive comments from people saying that I've helped them out um, and asking lots of additional questions, which I've always been answering as soon as I can in the comment section. So if you have any other questions, uh, for any of my videos, don't hesitate dropping a message in the comment section and I will reply as soon as I can. Uh, with that said, let's get started on the next video. This video is going to be about a modded map for Daisy called Namausk. Unfortunately, modded maps are only available for the PC version of Daisy at the moment. Um, if you're considering making the switch to PC for Daisy, I highly recommend it because you're missing out with these modded maps. They're just amazing. Uh, if you're a PC player who uh, only predominantly plays on the Chinaris map, uh, I seriously advise you to take a look at uh, some of the modded maps because they are fantastic. The Mouse is easily one of my favourite maps uh, for Daisy, uh, almost uh, surpassing Chinaris. Uh, I think about 90 to 95% of my playtime on Daisy at the moment is literally on the Mouse. Um, the unique mechanics, the size of the map, um, the the challenge to it. Um, makes that whole experience and that life, that playthrough that you do every single time uh, so much more unique and, and such a challenge. It's just fantastic. So as you may or may not know, uh, an update was recently released by the amazing Sumrak uh, for Namowsk. It's added a new zone which is referred to as Lantia or A4 or Athena 4. This zone, believe it or not, is set in space. Yeah, it's amazing. However, it is a challenge. Um, getting to getting to this area is going to be probably one of the hardest challenges that you'll do, uh, especially on this map. Um, there are a couple of steps that you need to do, which I'll go through in this video. Um, if you haven't been to Athena 3 yet, um, there should be a link somewhere up in the video, um, which will explain that. I'm going to go through it again briefly in this video as well, uh, covering the items that you need, where you're going to have to go to get them, and the steps to that you have to go through, the portals that you need to go through to get to the final zone, which is A4. Bear in mind that uh, A4 at the moment is like a very first stage. Uh, Summer has already made a post saying that there's going to be a new content patch coming out, which is going to add a lot of additional functionality. Um, uh, from what I understand, you're going to need some additional clothing items um, or mechanics in order to survive that little bit longer out there because naturally you can't survive that long in space uh, with your current clothing. With that said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to get is the Knack Access Card. Uh, you get this from the submarine, which you can find out in the snowy waters uh, off in the northeast area of the map. Uh, I always suggest going from Nemsk, uh, which is located on the northeastern side of the map as well. It's the last bit of land uh, and area to loot before you start heading out there. Uh, make sure that you've got proper clothing. Don't bother doing it with a t-shirt and pants because you're just going to die. Um, also make sure that you've got food and water. Um, make sure that you've looted sticks, appropriate sticks, bark, paper, um, matches, although I suggest the lighter because matches will probably get wet unless you have some sort of protective box to keep them in. Um, and head out from, usually from the dock area is where I like to go. Uh, make sure that you've got a compass and a map as well because without these you're going to get lost, especially if there is a blizzard or something that kicks in. Uh, it is incredibly easy to lose your bearings out there. Uh, you will not see land, uh, the trees or anything from the mainland, so you will get lost. So when you swim out to the first bit of uh, icy land, uh, I like to reorientate myself with the compass uh, and point myself in the northeast direction and start heading from there. You want to try and avoid um, the water as much as possible. Obviously, if there's bits of land which you can walk around to avoid that uh, the lake or the little river bit in between, uh, do so. Um, if you do get your clothes wet, which you're going to have to do at some point, um, I always try to wring out everything, obviously, apart from the boots and I think your gloves, which you can't actually do. Um, that's going to offset the cold. Um, it might just move you from the dark blue to the light blue, which is obviously going to stop you from losing health. Um, make sure that you're going to have to do a fire at some point during the trip uh, there uh, and the trip back, and definitely whilst you're in the sub as well, to dry out your clothes because you don't want to get any frostbite on any of your, um, your body because uh, that's just going to ruin the rest of the playthrough for you. 
Bear in mind that heading northeast from the location which I mentioned doesn't guarantee that you're going to land straight at the sub. Um, you're going to need to be looking left and right, uh, checking, going on the hills. Uh, if you've got a gun with a scope or something, using the scope um, to your advantage. Uh, don't do this when it's uh, blizzard. Obviously, it can, a blizzard can kick in at any time. Uh, but don't do it when it's low visibility, uh, if possible, because you really want to be seeing as far into the distance uh, that you can uh, to spot the sub so that you can start uh, moving towards it. So when you get to the sub, uh, head on top of it, uh, you'll find a hatch, go down the hatch, uh, have a real good look around. At that point, uh, you're, you're good, you're safe. Um, you might want to do a fire first just to dry everything out again. Um, have a good look around, loot about. There's some decent items that you can find in there. Um, you will find the NAC access card, um, usually on one of the bunkers or one of the beds or something. If you can't find it, likely that someone's already been there and beaten you to it. Um, you might have to hang around a bit. Uh, or try again another time unfortunately uh, from that point get out of the sub uh, and then you want to be obviously heading southwest uh, back to mainland uh, doing similar to how you got out there uh, and fingers crossed you get back to the mainland the final item that you're going to need is going to be the lantia pulsar locator it looks like this big gray card um, you can find that at the athena research institute uh, which is quite a trek, obviously, from the sub. That's why this is a big challenge. Uh, you can also find it from downstairs in Athena 2, if you're lucky. So if you go to the Research Institute and you don't find it anywhere, head to Athena 2, because you're going to need to go there anyway uh, to jump across to uh, Athena 3. Once you've made your way all the way over to Athena 2, um, you need to wait for one of the EVR events to start. Those can happen randomly. Uh, usually there's like a 20 or 30 minute timer between them. Uh, you'll know that it started because you usually hear that, that low rumble going on. Uh, at that point you want to head down to floor 3 where there's the flax core testing chamber I think it's called. You want to head into the glass window area there um, and you will find uh, a button which is now red uh, assuming that the EVR has, uh, has started. You want to press that button uh, you then need to exit A2 and leg it all the way over to Athena 1, uh, up where the the mountain range, where the there's a, a brown sort of uh, ramp leading into the portal, which will take you through into Athena 3. Make sure that you have lights before you go into Athena 2 and Athena 3, uh, because it's completely pitch black. You will not see anything inside. Uh, Athena 2 and Athena 3 are heavy PvP areas, so be extremely careful. Uh, listen for footsteps, so good headphones. Um, you're going to need to wait for the next uh, EVR event to kick off before you can do the final jump through to A4. Um, you will need to go to the very bottom of A3 at the back. There's the flax control panel. Um, it's uh, opposite where there's two huge generators with a laser uh, going between them uh, during the EVR event. From there, you're going to need to um, add, go press tab to go to inventory. You're going to need to add the NAC um, access card and the Lantia locator. Hit the switch, you're then running all the way back up, so there's I think two uh, levels that you need to go up um, to the main room where the orb will be appearing after about 30 seconds. Jump through and you will be teleported to A4 or Lantia. Congratulations if you've actually managed to do this all on one life. Um, you will only have 30 seconds in Lantia, therefore it is incredibly important that you do these things quickly. You arrive, there should be three items which you can loot from the, uh, the initial area. There should be a plate carrier. Um, and two additional components which you can then add to the flax control panel um, along with the other two items which you've looted which will allow you to stay there for up to three minutes uh, instead of just the 30 seconds. Make sure that within the 30 seconds you grab those items, climb up the ladder and jump back into the portal to take you back to Nomausk.
Once back in the mouse, you've got a decent plate carrier. You should have some decent weapons and stuff. You've experienced land here. Um, the next content patch will drop uh, soon, according to Sumrak. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it's helped you out to get to A4. Um, if you do make it to A4, drop a comment uh, below. Uh, I do want to read about your stories. Um, it would take a while. And if you manage to get all the way from the sub, all the way through to A3, and then through to A4, then my hat's off to you. Uh, because it is a massive challenge, uh, especially on a populated server, because there are so many obstacles along the way. Thanks very much again. Um, please consider liking and subscribing the video, and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.